Welcome, welcome, welcome the Zidane Matthew Show. Remember, tell your friends about the channel. Get them to subscribe. Once you watch the video and you like the content, you subscribe to the channel, people. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know what the persons want me to say. I said it before, but I guess they want me to double down now. Clarendon College came to Kingston, came to Sabina Park yesterday and put on a show for the spectators. It was a football lesson for Mona High. A Mona, very good Mona High team. A Mona High team that has a lot of character, a lot of good players, fighters. They normally fight back in games. They fought back against KC. Came to 2 2, even though KC prevailed in the end. They tried to fight back yesterday, but CC is a different class, people. And earlier on in the season, when I saw them, and I said, listen, they're the team to beat in all of schoolboy football season. In all of schoolboy football, not only in the Costa Cup. A lot of KC supporters, you know, KC is the defending Money Cup champions and the Oliver Shield champions, yes. They said, What are you talking about? Wait till they face KC. People, I know what Whisper can do. I've made a video about Whisper being the best schoolboy footballer in the last decade in Jamaica. The most talented, the most gifted, quality, talent. Again, he came on the second half for KC yesterday and showed that. Showed how good he can be. Showed how good he is. Scoring a goal, beautiful goal. Man, touch it. Man, this is a class player. So, what might happen if KC should advance to to the finals? Because I think CC, the matchups are KC versus GC, one semi final. The other semi final is Stats in Andrew Technical versus Clarendon College. Obviously, you know me, I'll pick Clarendon College. We could go through easily. No disrespect to Stats, who I think have a tremendous coach, who have been doing tremendous things. I spoke about it before. But CC me say. So now if if let's say KC prevails over Jamaica College, the way the way how they have to be they have to be compact, they have to be tough to break down, they have to make it tough for CC stay in the game and then hope for magic from their magician. So yes, KC, I believe that you can beat Clarendon College. But it's gonna be hard. One man to play a sport. One man can brilliant on his own and you can rate him. You can rate him highly, and you can talk about his skills, you can talk about what he can do. But when the teams, when there is a gap between the teams, and the, the team that is better plays at their best, there is not a lot the one man can do. Now, yes, Casey can do some things. And then, as I said before, the magician whisper, Richards, can create his magic, can do his thing. Yes, I think he has the ability to do so, because, again, I think he's the best schoolboy football in Jamaica over the last decade. No Flemings. No Alex Marshall, no Skiaro, no Jail Hyde, none of them. He's the best, the most talented, the most gifted. There's no two ways about that. Anybody who disagree with that is either them biased or they don't understand the football. It's just clear. And he does it with consummate ease. So it's it's going to be a, a tough game. But KC, beat JC first. Yeah? Beat JC first. It should be a tough matchup. Looking forward to seeing that matchup. And then looking forward to the final, obviously. So next week at Sabina Park will be hot. Because we know St. Andrew Technical. If there's one dark horse in schoolboy football that can upset a big team, it's St. Andrew Technical. They have shown it. Remember 2017? Remember that big Kingston College team in 2017? St. Andrew Technical beat them under this coach. So yes, if there's one team can make an upset as a dark horse, it's St. Andrew Technical. They face CC. So that will be intriguing. That will be something to... Look ahead to towards the game. But obviously the most anticipated clash of the two will be JC Casey. The rivals from the urban era in the last four or five years. Yeah. But don't go wrong with the thing, people. And if if, if this if CC was Casey or Jason that played the side of the top of and I mean, you'd have heard it all over the place. You'd have heard what them can be. Respect Wagwan. Fantastic stuff. And the man name, the man name was center her, Hodges. The son of the former player Hodges who used to play for Rivoli and the national team. At the start of the season, he looked sloppy. Still good, but sloppy. Like he was unfit. He's a different player now. In covering grounds easily and easier now. Tough to go around. So everything is fitting for Clarendon College. So again, you're still the team to beat. 
I'm sticking to my prediction that they will sweep all before them and be the first triple cup triple crown winners in some time. Remember, people, all right, that's it for this. Tap or some work up a little more. But like, subscribe, share.